Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be telling you about living expenses in the US if you're a master's student. Um, so it's been about you know a month and a half, roughly about two months in the US. So this video is only about uh, my first month's expenses after I came to Boston. I'm a student at Northeastern University, and uh, this is you know about all the money that's gone out in terms of living expenses, you know, rent, food, uh, groceries, whatnot during my first month here. So I'm going to be splitting this video into a few parts, uh, redundant expenses, one-time expenses, groceries, uh, food and entertainment and other miscellaneous expenses. So without any further ado, let's dive into it. So let's start off with one-time expenses. Now there are certain things that you have to do to set your apartment up as soon as you arrive in the US. You know, things like buying a mattress and buying a comforter and you don't want to compromise on these things, you don't want to be stingy on these things uh, simply because there are certain problems like bed bugs and stuff and uh, it's sensible to buy a new mattress. It's 100% sen sensible to buy a new mattress when the, you know, the moment you arrive here. So, so I bought a mattress, a comforter, uh, you know, pillow covers, a fitted sheet and all of those things. So you can see that right here and how much it cost. And the, you know, the total of the one-time expenses is displayed here as well. So you don't want to compromise on the mattress because the bed bug situation is real. I've heard from a few people that you know, their apartment has bed bugs. So it's always advisable to buy a new mattress. You don't want to compromise on that. A bed frame, it's optional, but the space that we're living in is pretty constricted. So uh, buying a bed frame gives us the ability to you know put stuff underneath. Now, a bed frame you can buy on Facebook Marketplace at a cheaper rate. If you're coming this fall, do consider that. But, you know, spring index, it's generally a little difficult to find people selling bed frames in the month of Jan. So that's why I bought a new one off Amazon and that's why it cost me about $80, $75, $80. But um, if you're coming in the fall, uh, I'm seriously telling you, consider Facebook Marketplace because you can get these things for like $30, $40 or something. Just be mindful of the fact that if you're buying anything on Facebook Marketplace, do not send money before you go check the item out and uh, before you make the purchase. Don't send out money before you check out whatever it is that you're buying. Now coming to redundant expenses. Now these are expenses that are unavoidable. These are monthly expenses like my rent to the electricity and stuff. You can see that here as well. So uh, the rent, it's a two bedroom apartment uh, shared by five of us and the rent is 3100 split five ways. And you know, we've compromised the hall spot a little bit because whoever is staying in the hall shouldn't be paying as much as the people who get the room to themselves. So um, yeah, per person rent is 635. The phone bill, so I'm on a family plan and if you get onto a family plan, you have unlimited data and unlimited, you know, talk time and stuff. So um, that's about $27 a month. The Wi-Fi is ten dollars a month, and we are not sure about our electricity yet because we haven't gotten our bill. So uh, I'm just going to put ten dollars here because roughly what I've heard from people is they generally get a bill of about five dollars for electricity per person. This is this is not a total estimate for the entire apartment. This is a per person expense. So. Uh, even the apartment as well. Now, considering the fact that this is Boston, it is a little expensive. It is a little more pricey than any other place. Like, um, if you consider going to a city like NY or Boston or, you know, um, Los Angeles or San Francisco, Chicago, your expenses could be a little on the higher side. But if you're going to a university, say, um, like, say, for example, Purdue or Clemson or anything in a more, you know, university town kind of space, then you would you'd be spending a lot lesser. That is how it works. You can check out the cost of living index to get an estimate of how much you'd be spending or uh, you know how much rent would cost or living expenses would cost if for each city that you're going to in the US. Uh, now let's talk about grocery. So for the first month, I've all, this is not just the household grocery like fruits and vegetables and stuff, but there's also certain things that we bought for the entire house uh, in bulk. So we're five of us staying, uh, if you've seen my other videos and we generally tend to buy a lot of stuff together. We build it on the house. Along with that, there are a few expenses here and there, individual stuff, you know, like protein bars and stuff, which we just get individually, but most of it is on the house. And um, we also got a lot of cleaning items for the house, like, you know, brooms and uh, Clorox wipes and, you know, wet wipes and you know, uh, various other things like that in bulk from Costco. So. Uh, that's why our groceries in the first month came up to around $300 per person. I think 298 point something. We don't generally go physically to a Target or, you know, um, a Trader Joe's or anything to buy stuff. If you're thinking of buying stuff as a student here in the US, grocery shopping wise, um, Instacart is a very good option. Instacart is an app through which you can order anything on Costco or, you know, Target or anything. And it, it's delivered to your doorstep within a day or two. And it's a very sensible option because how often do you think you're going to keep going with everything else going on in your schedule? Grocery shopping might take a lot of time out, you know, considering just ordering everything on the app and having it delivered home. You know, it seems like a much more sensible option. It seems like a much more, uh, you know, 
time saving option and that's what we've been sticking to uh, over the last couple of months that we've been here so um Instacart is one really handy option that you could check out if you're consider if you're thinking about how to shop for groceries and stuff in the US. Of course, going to a Walmart or going to any place physically is much uh, you know, you could actually see whatever it is that you're buying, but ordering it online just saves a lot of time. At least that's what I think. Uh, that's why we've been ordering everything online. Okay, let's talk about uh, eating out, entertainment and all of those things. I'm not someone who generally prefers eating out, but you know, in the first month uh, figuring out our living situation and figuring out how to cook how to cook and you know cleaning and a lot of other things that take up a lot of time there have been a few instances where we've gotten food delivered home or we've just gone out and eaten so so i think i spent about 50 dollars roughly 50 55 dollars eating out um again the excel sheet is right here of everything that's that's gone into it we also went ice skating one time and we celebrated one of my roommate's birthday so uh, you know there were a few expenses here and there as well generally any meal if you prefer eating out in the us it's going to cost you a minimum of 8 to 10 dollars so that's something to keep in mind you know uh, if you're wondering how much it would cost to live in the us it doesn't matter if you're in boston or new york city or uh, you know in a more remote location the cost of eating out is roughly going to be something between 8 to 10 dollars so let's just, just be mindful of that as well now coming to the miscellaneous expenses so i'm going to consider these small uber trips so the first time when i came to boston i took an uber from the airport um, you know straight home and it cost me 48 dollars um the haircut there's a haircut there's a Q&A video I've made where uh, I told you that this haircut cost about $24 so that is well and I've included the train charges here because he, uh, somebody had asked me this in the comment section about how much it's going to cost traveling to and fro from home to the university and back so um in the train system here in the US okay in the train system here in Boston specifically it's $2.4 per ride so you get something called a charlie card and you have to load balance into it if you're familiar with how the metro works in india you you put money into your metro card and you can tap it before each ride right the same way here you recharge your charlie card and you can tap it each ride cost 2.4 dollars the only difference is your destination doesn't matter every time so you tap your card as soon as you enter and 2.4 dollars get deducted from your card so uh, it, it's like there is there, there have been quite a few instances where i've recharged uh, recharged this card there have been a few instances where i took the bus as well and the bus is i think 1.1.4 1. or 1.7 dollars per ride so it's it is different here and there which is why i'm putting transportation under miscellaneous expenses but i'm not considering the train charges for the first month because uh, well you know you will find out when you come to boston things work a little differently here so i'm not considering train charges here in the first month expenses but but this is just something to give you context on how much it would cost if you know you're uh, traveling in the train or in the bus public transportation in boston and that's it for this video um, i made this video because there's a lot of international students here there's a lot of indian students here and i'm very sure about the fact that there's going to be a lot of indian students coming here this fall so um you know i hope this video gave you some context on how much things cost over here in boston also i just want to say um you know don't stress over all of these expenses because i i know you know it might sound like this is a little out of budget but see this is only for the first month because of all the initial expenses like buying a mattress or buying a bed frame and you know the comforters the pillow cases and st- uh, you know, things like that in the longer run see you're coming here to stay for a long period of time right you're not just here for like a month or two you're not coming here on vacation so there are going to be expenses you can't be stingy about buying a mattress and then get something that's not nice and you know if it gives you problem like if it gives you a problem like bed bugs or something then you don't want to be in that situation you, you get what i'm saying so just think this through don't overburden yourself with uh, you know the magnitude of the expenses here i mean even i was shocked when i sat and calculated all of this because i thought okay initially it's going to cost me about 800 900 dollars not more than that in the first month but turns out that's not what it is and uh, this is what i've been hearing from a lot of a lot of people i spoke to a couple of seniors who said their initial first month expense was about 2000 to 2500 dollars so um, you know don't be startled by these things that's all i'm trying to say i mean just take it as it comes if you're planning to move here then you're planning to move here and rent to buy you know you can you can make adjustments here and there a uh, lot of students they stay in places which you know per head cost them over 450 to 500 dollars 600 is a little bit on you know uh, the expense the, the higher side i would say um yeah again don't overburden yourself with these expenses is all i'm trying to say here if you're watching this video and you happen to be someone who's coming to northeastern this fall i hope you find this video helpful and you know do consider subscribing to my channel for more such content also follow me on instagram to follow my adventures in the us and you know that's all for this video thank you so much for watching this one until next time bye bye